Uh, hi everyone, finally, finally, finally here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new record from Matana Roberts, Coin Coin, Chapter 5, In the Garden. This is a new album from saxophonist, band leader, composer, and poet Matana Roberts, who is now five chapters deep in this ongoing and ambitious Coin Coin album series they embarked on over a decade ago at this point. These albums so far have explored the boundaries of avant-garde jazz, modern composition and storytelling, while speaking beautiful and unsettling words around things like memories, the past, and generational trauma. Now, the last chapter in the series of four had been my favorite thus far when I reviewed it. The narratives on this LP were so incredible. The way they pieced together in a coherent but also non-linear way. And there were some very intense instrumental performances on that record, too. Now, whether I'm blown away or simply just perplexed, one thing is for sure. Roberts has kept the series interesting, emotionally engaging, and full of surprises. Pretty much the sum of my expectations going into this new one here, which was actually produced by Kit Malone of TV on the Radio fame, who brings some modular synthesizers to a few key tracks on the record too. Though the core of this album sound really does come down to the horns, the strings, the reeds, and the percussion that fans have heard on previous Coin Coin chapters. But Montana's approach to engaging with the past and memories on this record is no noticeably different, with many of the music compositions being more abstract, rarely settling down into something that is uh, clearly or sweetly melodic, groovy, or coherent. It seems like Matana is going for something that is uh, more about sensation than it is about uh, musical intricacy, per se, because there are a lot of layered, amorphous instrumental passages throughout this album uh, that are just varying degrees of volume, of dissonance, of intensity, like with the relentless wailing horn layer piling on top of each other on predestined confessions, or the marching drums and kind of unsettling whistle layers on the opener. There are a number of shorter tracks throughout the record that make the overall flow of it a bit jarring too, and even the more expansive parts of this record can be quite a tangle. There's really something about a lot of the pieces on this LP that feels um, difficult to make heads or tails of, uh, disorienting, maybe even unknowable, which is most likely an attempt to highlight highlight a pretty obvious theme throughout this record. Memories of people or persons whose history is erased or unrecorded or often just ignored. I feel like this is very much enforced by a repeated mantra throughout the record. Uh, our name is their name. We remember, they forget. Now, again, if you've heard past chapters of the Coin Coin series, uh, things like memories in the past, uh, nothing new, and often on other records, uh, this would tie pretty directly uh, into themes of racism and African African American slavery, but a big component of this focus around memories and the past this time around uh, deals more directly with women, their silence, their subjugation in patriarchal families, abusive households, or a society that constantly has their intelligence and morality under review. In that sense, this record is very much a celebration of freedom, the freedom to dream, to create, to express, uh, especially for someone like Matana, but also this record is a tribute to anyone who's been robbed of of that opportunity, and the harrowing ways it was ripped from them. As told in the poetry of a track like A Way Is Not An Option, which I won't spoil because I'd rather you just hear it for yourself. But one thing is clear, the person Matana is writing from the perspective of on this LP, be it uh, their loved ones, uh, their lover, the medical establishment, uh, she is not seen, she is not taken seriously, she is not understood. She is not really uh, perceived as a person in a way. The album ties up with Ain't I, Your Mystery Is Our History, which just the title alone of that brings a lot of the themes of this record home. And on this track, we see those marching snares and those whistle layers coming full circle, almost as if the story being told here is just an ongoing cycle of sorts. Now, overall, there's a lot about this record I could pretty boldly endorse, be it the concept, the poetry, the instrumental palettes, the production is very clear, crisp, and well-balanced too. And also the way the concept plays out through this record, with the ideas and memories and stories strewn about it, uh, just being kind of like ripped to shreds or underdeveloped, much like the images on the front cover. And while the history and the bloodlines and the happenings and the memories are all there, uh, most likely we will never have a full view of it. And the music embodies that same feeling, occasionally being uh, disjointed to the point where it's kind of frustrating or kind of 
inconsistent and lopsided. What little clarity this record has kind of comes in spurts, making it feel very much like a collage both musically and narratively. Now, that being said, the clutter and brevity of many of these tracks, which is no doubt intentional, I would say does impact their enjoyability, at least to some degree. But regardless, the poetry cuts hit, uh, the longer cuts on the record hit, and uh, especially those tracks backed with uh, synths and electronics, they hit too. And despite the project being as all over the place as it is, uh, there is a pretty clear macro picture coming out of it. I may enjoy it a little more in abstract than I do in actuality, but I am enjoying Coin Coin Chapter 5 all the same, and think it's certainly a solid addition to the series so far. I'm feeling a, a decent two strong seven on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Montana Roberts, uh, forever.